Glad you're with us tonight. A Putnam City High School mom is accusing an assistant football coach of slapping her 14 year old during practice. Only News 9's Chris Gilmore talked to the mom and her son who say they want their complaint to be taken seriously. Chris. That's right, Lisa. We reached out to Putnam City Schools representatives and they say they were made aware of allegations made against a coach and they investigated immediately. I want to defend him. Like, I want to take care of it. I want to protect him and make sure it doesn't happen to anyone else. Putnam City mom Corey Lewis says a PC original coach was out of line when she claims he put his hands on her son. He just like smacked right here in my face. Trey said the alleged slap happened at the 50 yard line during practice one day. He says immediately afterwards he texted his mom who came to the school a few hours later to have a chat with the coach who she says did it. Lewis provided audio of what she describes as the conversation between her and the coach. In it, the coach claims he was just trying to get Trey's attention. I don't really remember what happened, but that's kind of how I took it. So is any of that accurate or no? She's like, you hit me, you hit me hard. Oh, well, I, I didn't. I apologize. I sure didn't mean to hit him hard. School district staff say the coach wasn't out of bounds. A statement from them reads, quote, if investigation causes us to believe something improper has taken place, we take action. It goes on to say the Putnam City Campus Police investigation of this incident did not find evidence to support the allegations. Meanwhile, Lewis says the audio speaks for itself and she plans on pursuing the case with a neighboring department. I feel like they hold our children at higher standards than they hold themselves and that's not acceptable. He's 14. He knew better not to hit that coach, but the coach didn't know better to hit him originally. That's just not OK. We've reached out to the War Acres Police Department for confirmation on an investigation into this case. For the full statement from the Putnam City School District, you can head to our website, news9.com. Chris Gilmore, News 9.